So we open with where we were at the reunion with Jackie and Simone renewing their vows of friendship and scissor sisterhood. And so the panorama is really real for them. Cecil got a new hairline. He got all this filled in. Okay. It's a much better look. Oh, Contessa, what is this cheap crap you got on your head? This tea, oh. No. So we start filming in July 2020. So now we at Dr. Damon's testing center. I definitely asked Jackie if Simone's still angry with her. Well, you know Simone can't let nothing go. Jackie just ain't heard from Simone. It was the holidays and then the panorama. I could see why. Oh, Simone said, I want to be surrounded by family and close friends so she can stay over there. Simone's son called her Big Ugly. Are y'all watching? Are y'all watching? I bet you they watching. So now we got Toya showing off her new home and suburban lifestyle. Because you move every other season. Oh, her pool look litty boo. Oh, Lord, this is real Roan heavy, and we need some light drama. And I was afraid this was going to happen, where now every show, we're reliving George Floyd. We're reliving the early days of the Rona, and it's triggering. It's like, I, I really, I need an escape. We lived it like a few months ago. We're still in recovery. So Toya like, look, Eugene, I know you super doctor, but I'm going to need you to have some energy for me at home. It's got to be tough. And now we have Cone Tessa. So she didn't got her program in Nashville finished because we know that was a plot line. Good, they didn't finally gotten some help. They lesbian cousins. So now we in Jackie's house and they got it finished. However, her big ugly has the same hairline. Oh, the house is nice. That kitchen is dark. Oh, okay, that was the old kitchen. This is your, it's still a little dark. Now the closet, now that's nice. Nothing like Toya's, her mirrorless closet. So she tells her big ugly that Heffley is throwing a birthday party for daddy. Oh, and as irritating as her calling daddy, daddy, it's still not as gross as a step grand husband. And this will be her first time seeing Simone. Big Ugly said, well, somebody should take the initiative and Jackie doesn't want to be the one and Simone don't care. So now we're at Dr. Damon's party. Okay, Heffley, we get it. You like Dr. Damon. He's the best. He's the best. We know. You sound like Wendy Williams. And we all know how that ended up. So we getting on the bus to head to Heffley's. Okay, and now we got the new Heffa and her man. Simone said, I'm not going to be angry with Heffley no more. So we going to show up to this party because we like Damon. But I got your number, huzzy. Toya already drunk and reading, though. She said, we going from five star to three star. I mean, hell. Ain't nowhere else to go. So we're cooking with the kimes. Meanwhile, across town, Contessa and Jackie are in the car on the way to the shindig. And Contessa wants to know how her friendship is with Simone. Everybody's caring about Jackie and Simone. Those sisters will scissor eventually. But Jackie gonna say she misses their relationship. Then call the heifer. Toya asks Simone, are we making up with anybody tonight? And Simone's like, I'm not angry, so ain't nothing, you know, I don't care. Simone is on her Porsche. And I think she also sees how Jackie demands that loyalty. And she's like, I'm not playing that anymore. Uh -huh. Toya said, heavenly is the problem. Simone is in pain, but I think she also knows it might be time to move on. I think the real issue is Jackie, not Heffley. So everybody arrives. And Jackie goes on and is the first to acknowledge Simone. I'm going to go on and hug your neck. So Heffley starts us off with, Simone, why haven't I heard from you? Why didn't you call? I miss you and I'm not going to say it anymore. No, you don't because y'all was never cool. What do you have to miss? Toya said that was faking the funk. That's what you do at the Ryu you. You make up so you can break up. Toya drunk, but she telling the truth. Ha! <laughs> Toya said, it's not a tantrum. You faked it. You ain't call that heifer. And she ain't call you. Both of you are out here acting like there's a sisterhood when it's simply scissoring in a circle. Toya said, oh, I'm doing too much in your house. Then put me out. I've been ready to go. But she got a point. If this was real, y'all would have patched it up off camera. You let it linger so that you would have a plot line. 
So Toya, help on out. Okay, um, that was the first episode. Jersey was much more explosive. That, it was okay, but um, it, it's gonna be about getting Simone and Jackie back together all season. I don't know if the show can rest on those shoulders. They might have a little osteoporosis. I think about osteoporosis when I think of Jackie cause she's all bones, just frail and brittle looking. In osteo too. So we open with Fred and Andrea getting a limo from her hovel to pick her friends up at the port. Girl, you were talking about rich friends, where? So she's showing off rodeo drive to her Utah friends. One girl said, I wanna see Kevin Bacon. Wrong coast, hon, he lives in the city. She gotta teach them how to be LA. You're not LA, you're Fresno. Oh God, who said she was good television? Okay, if these are such good friends, why are you afraid to show them your hovel? If they that judgy wudgy, why are you calling them friends? If you gotta have a double oven to kick it, find some real people to kick it with. Now we got Sean and Destiny. So Sean finally has seen the light. You're just a trick to her. Oh, this heifer clearly using. And Sean said the buck stops here, probably cause he broke. So she says, look, it takes a trick to know a trick cause you was lying to me about your age and your kids. So yeah, I had 20 tricks. Somebody had to put money on the books. Child, he give her $40 and she ain't worth that. She gonna say, I don't think he has any idea I'm seeing someone else. He knows, that's why he gave you $40. That's why he repossessed that car. Meanwhile, with the fake Native American and the addict wants to get the truth out her sister. Did you sleep with my husband? Ugh. Well, if your sister did, she ain't got no better taste than you. So now with Shovel and Quaalude, she trying to get him out of bed. Okay, since he's been back, he's not working in no sex. Girl, I told you he was twixt them knees. Oh Lord, this heifer's is picking out a wedding dress for what? Oh, so Quaylin cheated with a woman. So her friend asked her in the bridal shop, do you think you're rushing with this chute tag? He ain't been out but a minute. Do we still say drop it like it's hot? Okay, we got Marcelano and who? And Brittany. Marcelano, you cute, why are you with her? Why do they have so many people in Nevada on here? Why? Girl, don't nobody care about your family drama. Fast forward. All right, and now it's time for our lesbians du jour in Georgia, Amber and Puppy. Amber going to meet some other girl that looks like she's been screwing for lunch. Child, them studs be getting it everywhere. So her man pull up on her at work. Oh wow, she ain't seen him in 10 years. They've both been to prison twice since they saw each other. I wouldn't want to see each other again. Oh God, he confessing his love. You ain't seen this heff in 10 years. You don't know if you love her. Okay, now we got Sarah and Michael and Michael with his mama. Or is she the other woman? She old enough to be his mama. So it's his mama and he letting her know how they in the little situation ship. And she's like, well, that ain't gonna work. If you wanna be a family, you gotta go on and be a family. And he said, well, if she want me to cut the other girls off, I'll cut them off. Okay, uh, the cat mare with the boring couple is so pretty. Oh my God, that is such a cute cat. What kind of cat is that? I wanna get one of those, oh. Michael's mama did have on an I Dream of Jeannie wig. And you'd think with magical powers it would look better. Oh Lord. So now we got the runt version of Cleo going to have different conversations with women and see where they heads at. We know where you are trying to put it. Oh Lord, this ombre. So back in Rochester, we got his heifer who still ain't heard from him in a week. Well, I will say he's consistent with liking women with crappy hair. She calling him while he on a date. He's like, oh, don't mind that. Child, he went cold turkey on the kids. But to deal with the kids is to deal with you. So she gonna go to meet Malcolm. I'm not gonna let no grass grow under this puss. So he telling the new heifer, oh, me and Sarah, it, it's open. She's doing her, I'm doing me. Did you tell her that you ain't calling your chillin'? Tell her that. Girl, who is this trade you with? He cute, but he trade. T-R-A-D-E. So he said, I had to go cause you let Michael move in. 
And he saw that praying mantis and knew what it was. He was like, nah, I might share bus, but not puss. Well, the praying mantis is going to get some flint. Child production got him a room. He ain't got to stay with his mama. So her trade thinks that she's still in love with Michael. He like, mm-mm, you going to give me the puss and the heart. Back with Quaalude and Shovel. So as Shovel's talking to her mama, Quaalude sees a text on her phone. But from whom? Oh, there's some chitete from Shovel. So she talking to Jay because he don't give her attention because he wants a penis. Quaylin talk about himself in the third person. Chevelle hasn't pleased Quaylin. Well, she can't please you because she doesn't have a penis. You heard happy and I'm giving my all. Oh, oh God. So now we're going to have... Hair Lip Sean shoot a scene with the family he forgot about while he was chasing his destiny. His daughter cuss him out on camera and he deserve it. I'm a fast forward. Oh my God, it's the season finale next Friday. I'm actually sad. Oh, Jesus Christ. We got the fake Native American pontificating about his felonious family, but we don't have a fuck. Girl, okay, so your pappy was registered with the tribe, so you gonna say, oh yeah, it's legitimate. Mm-hmm. He was a con artist who got it, and you simply were grandfathered under your father's illegalities. It's all for tax purposes. Oh, Jesus, is the rest of the episode just him? I ain't listening to this. Okay, yeah, that, that was it. That was the episode. I don't know how we just went into John, but I'll see y'all next week for the two-hour finale.